My name is Alexis Jones and I am a chef and I've been working in restaurants for over 10 years. Alan and I got together and we wanted to use saffron and cardamom to show how a little bit of an ingredient can go a very long way. So we came up with doing a, a pumpkin cinnamon roll. Well the first step is roasting the pumpkin and it takes about 15 to 20 minutes at 375 degrees. We put it over some rosemary to add a little bit of extra rosemary flavor and give a little more savory note. The next step was to toast the spices. So we used clove, cardamom, and nutmeg, as well as ground cinnamon and some fresh ginger that we grated into the pan. And just toast it for a few minutes until it's fragrant. After it's done toasting, I just put it straight into a coffee grinder and ground it until it was fine. So for the pecans, I started with whipping egg whites until they are frothy. Um, I took saffron and soaked it in a little bit of water to help it bloom and develop its flavor and tossed that in with the egg whites, also the chai spice, and then we folded in the pecans and finished with a little bit of brown sugar and cinnamon. Put it into the oven about 325 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes. By the time your pecans are done, your pumpkin should be finished roasting. So you want to take it out of the oven and scoop the flesh out and then put it in the food processor with a little bit of butter and salt until it's completely whipped together. I usually use about an ounce and a half of unsalted butter. I used a basic yeast dough recipe and uh, brewed a little bit of chai tea for it. Uh, first thing you need to do is bloom your yeast. So take your packet of yeast and a uh, three-fourths cup of very warm water. You want to add a little bit of sugar as well into that because the yeast will eat it and it will help them grow. Let it sit for about 10 minutes for the yeast to get frothy. And in a standing mixer, you're going to add three cups of all-purpose flour and let that start for about 10 minutes coming together. It will form a bit of a ball, but it will still be uh, dry and add a fourth of a cup of chai tea and two big tablespoons of the pumpkin butter, as well as a pinch of salt. And let that form a ball and uh, knead for a few minutes. After you knead it, you wanna put it in a bowl. Cover it with uh, plastic wrap and let it rise. It takes about 30 minutes and um, then you'll take it out and you'll punch it down again and put it back in the bowl and let it rise 10 more minutes. While you're waiting on your dough to rise, it's a good time to make your cream cheese icing. So start with room temperature cream cheese and butter and with a paddle attachment in the mixer, you wanna get that creamed until it adds a little bit of air in it. I added some chai spice as well to that and then about half a cup of powdered sugar and um, a little bit of heavy cream, vanilla to taste, just a teaspoon. So when the dough's ready, you wanna put it on a floured surface and roll it out to um, about a half of an inch to a quarter inch thickness, depending on your preference. I like to roll it out and turn it over to make sure both sides are floured and aren't gonna stick to the board. I chopped up some of the pecans for the filling. Uh, after it's rolled out, you want to spread a good layer of the pumpkin butter, finish it with some brown sugar and cinnamon, enough to coat the entire surface, and then the pecans. And then you take it from there, and you will fold it over itself and roll it, um, being careful to keep an even distribution. Once you roll it up, you want to make sure that you've pinched the edges and the sides so that they all stay together and then um, slice it. So after you roll it and slice it, you want to take it straight to the cast iron skillet and it'll go into the oven at 375 for 15 minutes. Um, I like to take it out and add a little bit of butter and pecans on top of it. Uh, the butter will help it brown and then just go back in the oven for two minutes. So smear the cream cheese frosting on top of it, garnish with some more pecans, and then you're ready to serve.